What's going on everyone? I hope you're having a fabulous day. I just got off of work. But I never really stop working. But I got something I'm going to talk to you guys about today. I got a big example I want to show y'all right now, right here. So stop and stop what you're doing. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to get into politics. Maybe you want to build your own business. Maybe you want to do a lot of things and don't know how. This video is going to help you. So I'm about to show you something real quick. It's pretty powerful. And that is, you see that? You see that? That is a playland. Not only for a businessman like me, but for people in general. That's a huge city. That's Kansas City, Missouri. Yes. And that brings me to my point. Maybe you, uh, maybe you don't know how to go about you know, building your own life. Look, when I first started a business, nobody knew. I never thought in the wildest dreams I'd be in, you know, national politics. I never thought I'd be an accomplished, published businessman. I never thought lawmakers and people with power would know my name. Face your fears. Face the discomfort. Face the things that make you very uncomfortable. Because the only way through it is through it, right? Anyway, I'm over here at the World War I Museum. Memorial in Kansas City, Missouri. Thought I'd uh, do my little vlog thing for this evening. It got the, uh, you know, this brings me to my point about discomfort, fear, feeling uncomfortable, and wanting success in your life. All right? They got on display here. Memorial. Lest we forget, a project by Luigi Lu, Luigi Descano. And it's got all these people. Okay, it's an art exhibit. All right. To all the survivors of the Holocaust, which brings me to my point. It's the heroes of the Second World War. Those prisoners of war that were locked up and then these concentration camps. And you know what? They didn't have any choice but to face their fears and just be there. I want you to think about something. I, I know this is probably off topic, but World War II. The OSS is the predecessor to the CIA. It was the Foreign Intelligence Service basically they were saboteurs they were intelligence gatherers they were spies now I have a little bit of a history in that dark shadowy intelligence world but that's not the point in this video the point is what you think about those guys from World War II they had to go over to Europe they had to go over to China and fight the Japanese they had to go build networks of spies and it all started with a cold call or cold approach. Now, in my business career, all right, I have had more success with just approaching people as me. That's why I'm successful. Because I can approach people and I have a strategy to get their attention. I have a strategy not to waste my time or theirs. I never thought I'd be in national politics. I never thought I've been some of the things that I've been at, which are pretty impressive. I got some huge successes. I do, no doubt. But it all started with a cold approach. It all started with just me. Put down my hand saying, hey, my name's James Sharp. How are you? Call me Doc. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about discomfort and fear. Getting over these problems that entrepreneurs have maybe you're a professional at your you know whatever it is you do I am not known to be a motivational guy at all but I'll tell you this I'll give you what I got all right when I first started making these videos guess what I was horrible I don't know what the hell I was saying but you know what 
I figured if I stuck to it, maybe one day I'd get pretty good at it. No, I, I did pretty good for myself, I think. Now I'm hosting blogs, vlogs, podcasts, and all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know what? I'm a media guy. I'm out front in the media and politics. I'm a political strategist. How do I approach people of power? People I don't know. Or remain calm, remain my confidence intact. You gotta face the beast. You gotta face the fact you're gonna be discomfortable. You're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna feel discomfort. You're gonna have fear, no matter what. A lot of people, let, look, a lot of people, fear prevents them from moving forward in their professional careers. It limits them. They make excuses. They say, no, I can't do that. And you know what? They wonder why they're not successful. Think about it. You are your own limitation. Some say your own, you are your own worst enemy. Well, that's some truth in that. Now, I am not sitting here to say I know everything, because I do not. But what I do know, look, you're gonna face people who ignore you, you're gonna face rejection. But can you walk through the fire like those OSS operatives did? New cold approaches and build spy networks and build networks that actually take over and do something for the greater good? Because that's what you need to do in business. You need to build a network that takes over. Not only that, makes you money, improves the world, gives good service, great products. Yeah, I appreciate you. That's all I got for tonight. Thank you so much. For those of you guys that do not know me, my name is Jameson Sharp. They call me Doc. And, uh, you know, face your fears. Have a strategy in place. Think about the people who came before you. Because, look, history can teach you a lot if you read the history books. Personal autobiographies can teach you a lot. I became a successful businessman because, look, I can reach out to people knowing that eventually I'll get through to them. You just got to persevere. You got to put the discomfort aside. You got to put the fear aside and just move through the fear. Work through it. Do something that makes you uncomfortable every day. I promise you, you'll be successful one day. Hey, I appreciate you. That's all I got. My name is Jameson Sharp. I am a published, accomplished businessman, I guess they'd say. And uh, I'm a political strategist. I've worked on some pretty notable campaigns. And uh, that's all I got. And I'm still working my way to greatness. Anyways, that's all I got. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Please comment, share, and like. Please subscribe. Please hit me up on, uh, you know, wherever you may be. Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Appreciate you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Take care.